Hello guys. Welcome back to another episode of I Love Fishing. Today we are out here on Centerville Lake. Finally uh, got time to come give this lake a try and uh, let's see how we do today. Got some cool things to show you guys today. I'll be in my pop-up today with my son. Got the cool Eskimo Fatfish 949i. And it's the evening. So we'll see if there's any evening bite here. Lots of ice houses here. Lots, lots of them. All over this lake. They are everywhere. Scattered throughout this lake. So stay tuned. We'll see how we do. Got uh, lots of cars on the other side over there. But yeah. See you guys in a second inside the, in, inside the building. All right, guys. So today we got these cool Hog Outdoors LED lights. The light bars from Hog Outdoor, small uh, company in Michigan. Today, these lights that uh, were sent to me, they are powered by USB. The adapter you plug into a power bank, USB power bank, and you can power these lights just from that power bank. But he does have other options that you can do. Uh, you, you can do, this is brand new. His uh, new setup that he just put out is USB powered option. But you can also do the old school way of these. You can have this cord powered it via the regular, you know, 12 volt batteries. So you can plug those in, you can power it through that way. But today I'll be using, um, I will be using the USB powered guy. I'm gonna get this setup going and um, see you guys in a second. All right, guys. So, what we got here is the cool LED light bars from Hong Outdoors. These are the cool lights here. As you can see, Hong Outdoor. I'm not sure we can really see that, but that's what they're cool from. Hong Outdoor LED bars, light bars. So they have these as optional. Uh, you know, a Hong Outdoor LED dimmer. And all of these lights and accessories, they use these cool type of connectors. Pretty cool, easy plug-in and twist and secure. This setup is just a straight wire plug. You know, straight plug into the lights. So for example, like this, you just plug them in, push it in, uh, where's the tiger? Yeah. Put it in this nice way where these two out grooves go in and then you twist. Like that. And it creates a locking, um, you know, secure connection that won't be easily pulled. And then you can just hook this straight up to the light, to a battery. Now you need 12 volt battery. You just hook these up. Like this. Plug this in and plug that in and the light should just turn on. Nice and bright. One bar, nice and bright. Very cool light bar. And you can also do optional where you can um, do a dimmer. Like what I did, I decided to do. I wanted a dimmer so I can control the power of these lights. And that's and to do this follow this so input this side goes to the battery so this is the plug that goes to the battery twist turn and then you can plug this in to the light like this make sure the grooves match twist and turn and now I do the same thing as I did before And usually when you do a first initial connection, you'll get the little quick blink. And then now this rotary dimmer controls the lights. See that? Very cool. Full power. This is how the lights look like. Full power. And then you could dim it based on, you know, how much light you want. Dim it. And what's cool is he did these uh, new adapters for USB power. So let me show you guys those. Actually, I'll just 
take this off of the light. All right, so pretty much what I have here is a power bank, 20,000 ma MAH. Got it from Amazon for charging my GoPro, etc. But you could use this also to power these lights. And with this cool LED dimmer um, right here that you can choose, you hook this guy in to your USB port. And then you plug this into the light. Matching, you know, there's these grooves in here. And then you match that with these grooves right here and plug it in. Twist, lock. And the dimmer was on, was on, so that's why the light turned on. But this is how it works. So it's really cool. Powered by USB right now. As you can see, you know, turn off. Turn on, control your power intensity. You know, really, really bright. And um, you can also connect up to two lights with this uh, USB powered. So that's the recommended. There's these two pieces right here that you'll need to connect. You need to use these connecting cables. As such, you do this. Twist lock match the stuff twist lock and now you have two LED light bars that are powered by the USB and that is what I had my um, pop up right now that's what is lighted by just these two bars you can see how bright these guys are man. like I showed you earlier you have the option to do USB powered or uh, powered by the battery with this connector so you have two-way powered you can power it this way or USB either way how you want to do it I believe the USB they're powered uh, they have with the dimmer I believe they come with the dimmer but yeah check out the description below they give you the information to go check out hog outdoors is where these lights are from all details will be on his site there and i believe these lights are like the best lights out there instead of spending a you know a good amount of money for those big name brands support small business and these are very quality products the lights themselves they are excellent you know you can see this it's great hook them up to your you know pop up flip over uh anything Basically, you can have this set up. You can carry and go, especially with the USB power pack. It makes it really, really mobile. So I think that's one of the really cool things about this, you know, product. I believe it's a really good thing. So, and I do have a giveaway for these lights. I will be giving away a pair of these LED powered lights. In the description below, I'll also detail more on how to um, participate in this giveaway. I'll be sending these out to one lucky winner. So based on this video, read down below. And I have more information on how to enter in to get a chance to win a pair of these LED USB powered lights. And it does come with the uh, yeah, USB and the dimmer. And the two connectors and two bar. And Velcro to scrap. So I have those to do a giveaway. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. You know, if you guys, like I always say, if you guys like my video, my content, please help and subscribe and share my videos and stuff. I, you know, I just share it with the world, my love of fishing. And like I tell everybody all the time, I don't really catch big fish, but I sure do love fishing. And I just want to share my, you know, experiences. So this is what these guys are in. Yeah. Yeah, as you guys can tell, big difference with the light on you know you could see everything nice and clear see everything no problem I mean, these are just being powered by my usb power bank right now the velcro goes up there and you're good to go i left mine on my on my bars they seem to work fine no problem so you could do that too if you wanted
Ooh, it's a catfish. Whee! Got him. Got him. He came up. Something, he's, something's on yours too. He's gonna look at yours. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> bowhead. Yeah! Woohoo! Found him. Okay. Got these cool bowheads. Sweet. Alright. That was pretty cool, guys. Moved the camera up a little bit and jigged up higher in. Got one of these ugly dudes. Yep. These cool uh, bowheads. They got these cool sharp fins. Let me put a glove on. Where, where's the other glove? Okay. And then I got it. Yeah. Okay. Got this little critter here. Landing him <laughs> on the little tiny hook. Yeah. Pretty cool looking guy. Fugly looking at the same time. Got the cool whisk whiskers. So. All right. So you got the cool little guy. We're gonna let him go. <laughs> little ugly guy. See you, buddy. There he goes. Yeah. Oh, I think something's on yours. Where are you? Yep. Okay. Oh, something's coming. Got it. Must be a catfish again. Yeah, fighting like a catfish. Oh, a crappie. This is a crappie that came. <laughs> nice. Nice little. Little nine, niner. Little niner intro guy. <laughs> All right, that works. Cool. Okay. You blow the camera in. That's where this guy came from. Okay, then lower yours below the camera. All right, so that's a cool one right here. Mr. the crappie. Get bigger, buddy. There you go. Okay, so we just got that uh, catfish and the crappie. So now we'll see. Yeah, now now the flasher is lighted up. He's coming. All right, so we got about we're gonna have a fish bite right here. work for him. So, so far I caught a couple crappies the bowhead we missed two bowheads earlier unless it was the same bowhead that we missed earlier <laughs> and saw a couple bluegills a couple perches but they weren't interested earlier you got mail so we're beginning to see them pop out here and there 
nice to know that this lake does have some night activity we have fished here a few times haven't really caught much you know fish earlier we did see a bass it looked like a nice two-ish three pounder guy but he didn't want the minnow but it was cool it's always cool to see bass underwater i just wish we can catch them <laughs> they are special guys but try again next time so far i think this is the only lake that i have seen bass underwater but each time i see them they they don't want anything from me but yeah definitely come back to this lake and try to see if i can go fish the same areas that we do for summer fishing bass this is a really decent lake for bass a lot of um, action here there's just a lot of uh wreck boaters so kind of makes it a little bit hard to fish because you know people like to ski and speed around in their big fancy boats so but it's a good fishery uh, back then you know five eight years ago this was like probably one of the best bass lakes five six pounders etc here but now i think is for us we just hit around three four pounders haven't hit any fives here but you know knowing that this league used to have big fish just gotta you know keep trying but yeah love to come out and try during the winter around those spots see if those guys are still there be nice to get some bass under the ice and so so far right now just using the cool jig with tip of the minnow like oh marcus they hit yours yeah just you know jigging and making action oh yeah here's somebody interested come on buddy come come check it Ooh, they hit your thing again. No, no one did mine. Let me uh, rip up my minnow. Let's see if we catch one last fish before we go. There you go. We'll see if they take it. Oh, it's coming for yours. Oh no. Dead stick it. See if they take it. Yeah, let's see if they uh want anything. And once again, these lakes are really cool. Hog outdoors. They're from, what is this company? It's from White Lake, Michigan. So, Hog Outdoor, support small business, great products for a great price. Check his uh, site for the most accurate prices. They um, are great products, as you can tell in this video, this just being powered by USB power pack and just two bars and it's great um i'm sure that if we were to hook up four and hook it up to a 12 volt battery it'd be even um, brighter you know i could do that too but uh we're getting ready near to leave so but you can just tell from looking at this is uh it's great these lights are awesome especially with the uh, rotary dimmer that's i think that's like one of the best things to have just having that option to to rotate and see see the world at nighttime in your house and especially if you use one or two bars in your flip-ups oh man this is perfect lighting for those little small spaces and i can even uh, imagine using these for uh you know anything you're doing outside or hook up to your atv or sled or anything you know garage or underneath the car whatever you know these uh, imagine with these uh, harsh conditions that we have for ice fishing you know cold and wet these lights do a good job so 
Like I said in the description, I am given a set of these LED rotary dimmer two light bars. I am giving away to one of the viewers. If you uh, follow the directions I will have in the video in the description, they'll detail you on how to get a you know get your hands on get a chance on getting a pair of these lights from Hog Outdoors. We'll see if we can get a last fish here. Then we're gonna pack it up and go home. Thought that uh, uh, you know evening, you know sunset would be hot, but apparently it looks to be only nighttime. I guess because this whole sunset time we didn't get much anything. It was quiet, but now we're seeing fish roam around this area. We're fishing around. I believe the thing is said uh, 15, 17 feet. It's a little big hole over here. And just, we're just fishing around that uh, deep hole there. So, you know, action, but it's not Christmas tree like how we got in uh, Moody. So. But still good to just get out and enjoy the outdoors during the Minnesota winter. Come on, fishy. Where are you? All right, guys, so as I was saying in the video earlier, these lights are pretty cool. You can power them with the with a cool battery, 12 volt battery, or a USB power pack, such as uh, these kind of, you know, power pack. I think he said they recommend a 20,000 and up, and that's what you should use. This one's just a little 10,000. I'm sure it will work. I'm not that quite sure positive, but more information will be on his site. Uh, you know, if you have any more questions or something you need specifics to know about, contact them. But yeah, you can have 12 volt powered or USB powered. You got the cool, you know, LED rotary dimmer with this guy that you hook up to your 12 volt. Or you could do the option, or you could do both. You can have both ways where you connect. You can connect it either way, dual power, whenever you want. You know, not at the same time, but if, okay, one day you wanna you have a battery pack, you got a power pack you can use. You can use your LED, um, you know, USB power pack or 12 volt connector standard power with that guy. You can just straight hook it up to the battery. Doesn't give you the cool flexible dimmer option. Or you can buy the optional dimmer piece and control it that way so you could control the power of the light. Or you could just, you know, do the USB one that has a LED dimmer in there and just control it that way too. And like I said before, I am giving away a set of these away. More information will be in the uh, description of my video. Be sure to, you know, check that out. Follow those directions that I have in order for you guys to get a chance to get a pair of these. You'll get this. You get the uh, connector cords and a velcro and basically all you need to do is just add a you know a usb power pack and you're good to go for your flip house uh pop-up anything you know you're ready to be lighted up with this led hog outdoor led light bulb so you know stay, stay tuned to that follow those and uh yeah i think we're about to head out you know as you can see all this cool coldness we're getting ready to pack up and go and um yeah Hope you guys enjoyed that and enjoyed today's video. There was some fishing, but most of it was to, you know, you know talk about these cool lights from Hog Outdoors. Hog Outdoor from uh, White Lake, Michigan. A small business. And like I said earlier, support small business. Help them out during this time especially. And especially for products that are very good. They, you know, it's hard to find business, small business that, that do a product that they believe in they put good great quality work into it and this is one of the one of the products that i believe that very, very outstanding so and then until then you know until the next video you know stay safe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace